Good morning, Panthers. Today is Thursday, April 22nd, 2021. Please join me for a few moments of morning prayer and reflection. Let's begin by thinking about our mission statement here at St. Anthony de Padua Catholic School, where we develop lifelong learners who live their faith through stewardship and are committed to Catholic virtues and academic excellence. Peter and the apostles devoted themselves to spreading the gospel. This made the religious leaders angry and jealous. They arrested Peter and the apostles and flogged or whipped them. But the apostles did not waver in their faith and continued to proclaim the good news. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest and all who were with him being filled with jealousy arrested Peter and the apostles and put them in the public prison. The high priest questioned them saying, we gave you strict orders not to teach in this name. But Peter and the apostles answered, we must obey God rather than any human authority. They were enraged and wanted to kill them. They had them flogged. Then they ordered them not to speak in the name of Jesus and let them go. As they left the council, the apostles rejoiced that they were considered worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the name. And every day in the temple and at home, they did not cease to teach and proclaim Jesus as the Messiah. The word of the Lord. Think about this silently in your heart. The early Christians were often punished for their faith. Think about how strong their faith in Jesus Christ must have been if they were willing to suffer imprisonment and punishment. Dear God, help us to be strong and resolute in our faith. May we never waver in our devotion and commitment to Jesus and continue to serve and love others. In his name we pray, amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Please stand and join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. Today, our flag comes from Reese in second grade. Thank you, Reese. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so much, Reese. I have enough flags for the rest of this week and then I'll be I'll be open for more. So if you would like to design a flag to share on the announcements uh, during an appropriate time that your teacher has approved, please, uh, please do so and submit it to the office. We love the ones that are less interpretive and more accurate, but they're all beautiful. So thank you for sharing. We have no birthdays to announce today. So a very happy unbirthday to everyone. Our virtue of focus this week endurance. So endurance is the strength to suffer through adversity with courage. The opposing vice or the opposite of endurance would be half-heartedness or giving up. So today think about someone that you know that demonstrates the virtue of endurance. And that can be both in physical endurance, like running, our girls on the run are building their endurance. Our readers, our younger readers build their endurance to read longer. So think about some people you know that push through adversity with courage uh, to keep going. Our student of virtue this week, these are nominated by teachers and then selected by a team. Our student of virtue this week is quick to help when someone asks for help doing tasks like cleaning or moving heavy things. He asked, one of his teachers to have some extra time to help reacquaint his classmate with altar serving because he wanted this person to feel at ease. This, this student is reliable, considerate, and charitable. Thank you so much to Kaden in sixth grade for being an example of virtue to us all. Please come to the office after announcements as we have a little something for you. I'd like to thank everyone for a great first day of iLearn yesterday. Those of you, everybody had to change and adapt a little bit, even those of us that weren't taking iLearn. So thank you all for your patience and for using it as an opportunity to practice some of our virtues. And we look forward to continuing that process over the next week or so. So, all right, I believe that's all of the announcements for this morning. I hope everybody has a wonderful Thursday. 
please, 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 if you eat lunch outside, make sure that you're cleaning up your area carefully. We're finding lots of lunch trash out around the campus. We know it's being left accidentally, but if we could please just make sure that we do an extra careful job containing your trash so it doesn't blow away and end up somewhere on campus. Also, if you play in the field, the Gaga pit, anywhere, if you could use the mats when you come in to really wipe off your shoes, uh, it happens, but a lot of dirt and mud got tracked in yesterday. So just take that extra time uh, to think about the condition of your feet before you come in the building so we can avoid uh, messes as much as possible and take care of this place. All right, let's end our announcements and begin our Thursday with our St. Anthony Faith Pledge. We, the students and faculty of St. Anthony de Padua Catholic School, vow to be Christ's light for the world. May our eyes see Christ in one another. May our mouths speak words of love and kindness. May our ears listen for ways to serve. May our feet, hands reach out to help, and may our feet walk closely with Jesus so we may live in his light. Jesus, light for our world, shine in us and through us. Panthers have a great day in St. Anthony de Padua. Pray for us.